My uh, rocket is painted and the paint is dry. Um, I just got gloves on because the paint doesn't stick to this plastic very well and it's going to come off on my fingers. So it's just to keep my fingers a little bit uh, clean while I pull the tape off. You don't have to do that. That way you can just wash your hands. So it's always fun to pull off the tape because you get to see what's on the inside. So far it's looking good. It looks good. All right, so then I have to just decide where I want to put my decal. And I think I will put it here, right in the middle. And it's a pressure sensitive decal, so you can just peel off the backing. Stick it on anywhere you want. good okay so far so good now I'm gonna pull it apart because now I want to put in our, our re engine retainer and remember we uh, put tape on the back end so now it's time to peel all that off And we can push that um, shock cord through. Um, we can also put on our uh, rail buttons again. We just took those off temporarily while we were painting, so now we can just put those back on. Remember, we uh, plugged up that hole here with a piece of tape, so remember to pull that off. And our engine retainer goes back here. It'll fit down there like that. And we pre-scuff that up, if you recall. So all we have to do is put some epoxy on and bond that into place. And for that, the manufacturer recommends the, the, the JB weld because it's a pretty high temperature liquid epoxy. So I'm going to mix some up. Okay. 
Okay. And I'm just going to smear it around the edge. Try not to get it in the hole, make sure it's on the outside of the hole. Okay, then I'm going to put the rest of it on the inside of the retainer. like a little bit did ooze out so again I'll wipe it down all right that looks pretty good and our rocket will still be able to stand up on its base without falling over all right, so our next step, um, I'm going to let this cure up for a little bit, and I'm going to start putting in the parachutes.